Hello, my loving friends. It's important to understand what you're going to learn from this episode. If I were to ask you a question right now, what is your English level? Are you confident about your English level? You will find out after watching this episode. Next, we are going to discuss how you can practice speaking English on your own if you don't have a native English speaking friend. Lastly, we will explore common mistakes people make while learning English. Hey, Maria. Been so long since we talked. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So, what's been keeping you busy these days? Not much. Just getting ready to go abroad for my higher studies. That's great. I've always wanted to study abroad, but I'm a bit concerned about my English speaking skills. Oh, really? But you mentioned that you've been practicing and improving your English since we last spoke, right? Yes, I was learning, but I stopped. I got frustrated. Come on. Why didn't you tell me about that? I could assist you with the problem. I thought you might be busy with your own work and studies. Got it. Let me ask you something. What's your level of English? I don't know. How can I understand my level? Beginners are those who know basic words and can understand when they listen, but they struggle to understand full conversations. They can make broken sentences and cannot speak continuously. You mean those who can't express themselves properly, right? Exactly. And those with the help of grammar and words and pronunciation can't speak continuously, but can still communicate and make themselves understood by others. I got your point. If someone can understand 60 to 70% of a conversation or movie, they can be considered at an intermediate level. So the last one is the advanced level. If you are good at all the points like understanding English, having a wide vocabulary, Good pronunciation and fluent speaking without getting stuck. I think I'm at the beginner level, but I really want to work my way up to the intermediate level. That's great that you're setting that goal for yourself. I'm ready to put in the time and effort to make that improvement. Absolutely. Consistency is key. You can dedicate at least 20 minutes every day, you'll see progress. I'm committed to that. I've realized I've spent a lot of time unproductive, and now I want to make better use of my time. That's a good mindset to have. Let me share some insights about misconception. Sure. We should be aware of our mistakes while learning English. First mistake we usually make when we talk is that we start thinking about grammar, like should I use have or has, a present or past tense, prepositions, and so many other things. Trust me, I do this too. But what's wrong with that? If I also think about grammar while talking, Good question. Have you ever noticed when we do this, we can't continue our conversation because we get too focused on grammar? It's like our thoughts are interrupted by the need for perfection. What did you mean? Are you suggesting that I shouldn't learn grammar? No, that's not what I meant at all. Grammar is undoubtedly crucial, but as your understanding level increases, you can do that later. You're saying that for initially fluent English speaking, there's no need to worry about grammar, right? Yes. Do you read books or articles to improve your vocabulary? Yes, sometimes I read articles. Why do you ask? Well, when you read, try not to focus too hard on understanding every single word. Why shouldn't I try to understand every word while reading? It's not necessarily a problem, but when you do that, you may lose the enjoyment of what you're reading. Instead, try reading through an entire section and then note down any unfamiliar words. Okay, I see what you mean. I'll give it a try because you found these techniques helpful. Right. By the way, this method isn't just something I use personally. It has been proven to be effective for learning different languages spoken around the world. Wow, super. I'll follow the instructions you're giving. One effective way to improve English is listening. You have to listen more and speak more. But why is listening important for my English? To listen, we need to make a conscious effort not just to hear what people are saying, but to take it in. Digest it and understand it. Not only does listening enhance your ability to understand better and make you a better communicator, but it also makes the experience of speaking to you more enjoyable to other people. So you're saying that listening is linked to speaking and it can help improve my speaking skills, right? Yeah, indirectly it helps. You have to practice speaking also. Got your point. Let me share some effective methods with you. Have you thought about setting a specific goal for improving your English speaking skills? Absolutely. Setting clear goals can work as a constant reminder and also provide the motivation needed to learn more effectively. Yes, different people have different purposes for learning English. 
Some learn for IELTS, job interviews, academics, etc. What are the next tips? I am curious to know. Consistent practice is key. Do you struggle with staying consistent? Do you find yourself stopping after practicing for two or three days? Unfortunately, yes, I do. Try to practice with yourself. To successfully learn English by yourself, you should include English in your life as much as possible. How can I do this? I don't have any friends. Can you please help me? Talk to yourself. Practice speaking about your day, describing your surroundings, or discussing topics of interest. This helps you think in English and improves your fluency. Great, I'll try. What's the next way? Record yourself. Use a voice recorder to record yourself speaking on various topics. Listen to the recordings to identify areas for improvement, such as pronunciation, grammar, and fluency. I'll do this also. What next? Shadowing practice. Listen to native speakers through podcasts, movies, or TV shows and try to mimic their speech. Repeat what they say immediately after hearing it, focusing on pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm. This one sounds interesting. I'll try it, surely. Join online communities. Participate in online forums, language exchange websites, or social media groups where you can engage in written and spoken English conversations. Thank you so much. All the tips are awesome. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.